What's up you guys? What's good? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Mommy Mondays. This is episode two. So let's just jump right into the things that I think that you need for your new newborn. So number one on my list, this is definitely more so for my mummies who are breastfeeding, but I am so excited to share this with you guys. I think it is a must have for all my mummies. Even if you're not breastfeeding and you want to have a little bit of breast milk, you can add it to like a baby cereal, you could freeze it, whatever. You need to get you one of these, okay? So this is the silicone breast pump by Nature's Bond. You guys, when I tell you that this thing is incredible, like I cannot say enough great things about this product. I'm obsessed with it. With Amaya, I had a manual breast pump. And with Eden, I did the same thing, I manually breast pumped. With Colson, I decided that I was going to get an electric breast pump and it's a dual pump so it could do both my breasts. My boobs were so inflamed that they, <laughs> They look like pylons, like it was out of this world. Like my areolas couldn't even handle what was going on in my titties, okay? So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna pump because my supply is already insane. So I ordered one of these off of Amazon. I believe it was $20. I'm gonna put the link below for all of my mummies. Y'all can click that shit and go get you one right now. These things literally, it suctions on to your boob and it collects the letdown, I believe it's called that's the lingo but it collects all the extra drip and stuff that's coming out from the booby that isn't feeding the baby at that time normally in a feeding colson doesn't eat for longer than 10 minutes like if i'm lucky he'll feed for five minutes um but my letdown is really really heavy so he's getting a lot of milk within that five minutes the point is he doesn't feed for long in that five minutes i collect almost two ounces so i can come back to it in his next feeding two hours later and i have four ounces from doing nothing and that's just the letdown that it's collecting while i sit there so this is the little cap that basically covers it and then it has a second cover as well that you can just secure it and have it on there i don't really use it though i'm not gonna lie um i just use these two things so i breastfeed i put it on my booby and you basically squeeze it I should show it this way. Squeeze it, it suctions on, and then it just does its thing. You can walk around with it on, I'm not even joking. You can walk around with this thing on while you're breastfeeding, and it is on you. And it will just collect everything that's coming out of the other booby that's not being used. You can put the cup on when it's done, and you're good to go. So I've been um, putting them all in freezer bags and dating them and marking them, and I have a lot of extra milk from doing nothing at this point like it's super exciting when I start bottle feeding um, I probably won't need this anymore but until then this is my favorite thing ever and I think every mommy needs one so again nature's bond if you are a breastfeeding mommy please check it out I'm obsessed with this thing like I could just rant and rave about it I could rant no I could rave about it all day so the next thing that is key for me are is this these muslim muslin muslin these muslin blankets these things are phenomenal like when i had eaten in amaya they had like those velcro zipper swaddle blankets like i don't know i think that's mad excessive and not really natural like why why are you velcroing are you into a blanket I mean to each their own and if that works better for you that's great I didn't personally like it so I love my Muslim blanket so it's extremely large and this is just half of it um, it allows you to swaddle baby and even if you're not swaddling baby I want to see if you guys can see the texture of it not really but they're really thin consistency, so they're really breathable, awesome for the summer. I have a summer baby, as you guys know, so this is great for us, even when we're just in the car to cover him up. Um, and then we go into like an air-conditioned building. I have him covered, and I know he's warm, but he still has his breathable blank. I probably picked these up a week before um, I had Coulson and I went into labor. Um, I just had like this inclination that I wanted these, I wanted to try them out. I was really interested in swaddling and I think that it's a really great technique, especially for newborns. And as you guys obviously got from a little bit earlier, I don't I don't like the, the zipper and the velcro. So 
the muslin blankets are where it is at definitely recommend these for all of my new mummies with newborns so i'm going to jump into the medical side of necessities for babies now me being a third time mummy there's things that i know i need to have in the house and i also don't like to leave my house i've talked about this umpteen times snapchat and on youtube um right when my baby is new for me and him i'm healing he's new let's just chill inside you know what i'm saying so i stock up on everything that i could possibly need if i don't end up needing it that works for me but if i do end up needing it i have it so that's even better you know what I'm so the first thing that i always have is um newborn tylenol is it newborn infants tylenol um i don't get this for anything other than shots i'm not gonna lie the chances of your child having a fever in this first month like is slim to none i want to say I mean, I haven't come across it, so um, I get these for the shots. So I give this to baby about half an hour before his shots, and then he's good to go for the rest of the day. I did that with my girls, so I'll be doing that with him. And it actually says on it, for fever and pain due to immunization, teething, cold, or flu. So that's just that. The next thing that I got is this kid's colic. Um, alcohol-free gripe water so I haven't ended up needing this um, Colson doesn't seem to have any signs of colic if you're not familiar with what colic is definitely go peep that on Google I got this for him in case he ended up having it because I know from not experience my boobs have never had it but my friends um, my close friends one of them actually their kid had colic and it just sounded like it was a nightmare at night and if I could save myself a little bit of sleep, I'm trying to do it. So I got the, like I said, the colic alcohol free gripe water and it's quick gentle relief from the following baby discomforts. So colic, upset stomach, cramps, hiccups, or teething. Um, and I got this one, you can get it with alcohol, I believe, or alcohol free, but I try to get things as natural as possible. Like I, I, I prefer to stay away from this crap. And if I had a natural remedy, best believe I would use it, but I don't know when, so. Okay, so last real medical one for you guys are the baby D drops. This is more so for my breastfed mummies. As far as I know, formula fed babies don't require D drops, whereas breastfed babies do. So Colson gets one drop of these every single day as long as he's breastfed. So he's going to be taking these for a couple of years. Yes, it's said a couple of years. When it comes to lotioning and washing your baby, there is like a thousand things out there for your child. For both of the girls, um, they get eczema when they drink milk. So we stay away from milk, but I know for us, for our skin, Aveeno works great for their eczema. So we are a v an Aveeno family. That's just the lotion that we use with the exception of Kev. He likes his cocoa butter cream and he uses that. But we are an Aveeno family. So I got the Aveeno products, which you guys would have seen in Colson's first bath. Um, yeah, that's what we use. I have the light scented wash and shampoo with natural oat extract. It's hypoallergenic and paraben free. I have the fragrance free soothing release diaper rash cream. It's um, zinc, zinc oxide cream. I actually love the consistency of this stuff. It's really thick. Um, I don't know why I prefer that. It's just my personal preference. So I love the diaper rash cream. And the lotion is awesome consistency as well. Um, and it is fragrance free, a daily lotion with natural um, oatmeals, moisturize, and protect skin for up to 24 hours. So basically anything that had natural products, I was really down for. There were some other products as well that are great options in store, but like I said, I gravitate naturally more to Aveeno because it's what works for the rest of our family. So it just made sense that Colson jumped on our bandwagon, you know what I'm saying? The next thing that I got was this little bag, safety first bag. I ordered this off of Amazon. Um, a lot of the safety first things come with a bunch of unnecessary things. So I got one that I thought came with the essentials of what I needed and now I'm realizing I'm missing a couple things, but it's okay. So this one came with the thermometer. This is necessary. You always need one of these in your house when you have a baby. Does the baby have a fever? Don't ask no questions. Just boop, 
Bobby. Next, I got the little nose squeezy. I have yet to use this. My babies have little noses because they just get that tray from their dad. So this little nostril cleaner is very necessary. Next, it came with this little medicine dispenser. Also very necessary and very handy to have. You lose these like you wouldn't believe. That Tyler box it comes with one of these. I will lose it. It will disappear. And lastly, it came with a little toothbrush. I'm not gonna lie, these are awesome for teething. Like these little bumps, I'm gonna give this to him and he can play with it and put it in his mouth and you can judge me if I want, but these are really good for teething. And then he'll have it to brush his teeth as well. So the only additional things that I wish came in here, and these aren't really necessities, this is just me being a princess, is a hairbrush because I love brushing his hair and I think it's so cute when he has a little comb over. And a nail clipper. A nail clipper is so needed. Um, I have onesies that have the little hand covers, which is great, but at the same time, I love him to get a feel for everything. I'm able to touch things with his hands, and he can't do that because I'm covering his hands up so that he doesn't scratch himself. So I definitely wish it came with a nail clipper, but otherwise it does the job. And I'll put the link below for this um, that I got from Amazon down in the description box for you guys as well. Onesie fun. So I definitely have a preference for onesies and Kev definitely has a preference for onesies, which is why I decided to bring two for you guys. Kev loves the button down simply because he has easy access to check Colson's diaper and see if he needs a change. Whereas I can touch him and kind of gauge like, oh, you need to change your white, you're white, <laughs> you're wet, or you don't, you're fine. So I prefer the zipper because it's quick and easy, okay? Nighttime, you you don't want to button 18 buttons in the dark, okay? You just don't want to do it. And I'm saying in the dark because I have sleep trained Colson in a way that he knows day and night. So he's sleeping through the night already at two weeks old. He literally wakes up at four o'clock to feed and goes back to sleep till seven o'clock. So holla at your girl if you want some tips, okay? I don't want to do these at night. I really don't want to do them. I'm not trying to do all these damn buttons. And some of these are a sick joke. They like change in on the, in the leg and you need to fold them. I'm not trying to do it. So we're just gonna, you know, it's out of here. We're gonna talk about the zipper. The zipper, you just gotta zip. You need to find the zipper at the foot, zip it up, tuck her in and you're good to go. So I definitely prefer the zipper onesies and I wanted to share that with you guys because it might just be a life hack that's important to some of y'all. I don't know. So my next baby must have is something that I'm trying out for the first time and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw me just going in about this product because I love it so much. I don't know why I wasn't doing it before. I don't know why I was using other products. This thing is phenomenal. And here it is. It is the Boba Wrap. You guys, this thing right here, it is phenomenal. Like, I cannot rave about it enough. I am so happy that this was gifted to me. It was potentially the best thing ever. Like, I am just obsessed with it. So basically it is this huge, literally like you guys, this is all cloth. It's this huge cloth. It's definitely one size fits all. Um, it allows you to like wrap around as many times as you really need um, to get to the size that is great for you and fits you best and it gives you closeness with your baby. This is probably, ooh, I don't know if this kicks out the nature bond. I, mm, it's a tie, it's a tie, it's a tie. I can't, I can't do first and second. It's a tie, they're both number one in my heart. I love them both, they're phenomenal. So, it, and it's like, it feels so soft, it is amazing. Colson falls asleep so quickly in it. It allows me to have my two hands back and it's kind of cute because it's like he's in my belly again. So I get to just like have him close to me, have my hands, be able to do what I want and he's there so I can see him. So there's actually a picture on the box of how I wrap Colson. So I'm going to share that with you guys and then we're going to move on to the next product. So this is literally what it looks like when baby is wrapped. But this is how I wrap little man. So I'm able to see him, he's close to me, he's comfy, he can breathe, he's getting that fresh air. My first day by myself um, without Kev, I had to take my eyes to the bus stop and I was like, oh my god, how am I gonna bring Colson with me? Like, I just didn't know what the heck to do with myself. The boba came through. So that is it for my baby 
essentials, things that I think you need when having a newborn. I know a lot of people are probably watching this video and they're like, uh, what about the swings and the rockers and the bouncers and like what else is there for newborns? There's a thousand things. I'm gonna say you don't need them. You heard me right. You don't need them in my room, okay? I have a bouncer, I have a swing, and I have a mamaru. All three of these things. My son has yet to like any of them. Not gonna lie, when he is awake and doing his awake thing, he will chill on his Fisher Price swing. So I will link that below for you guys so you can see what swing I have. It is a very common swing and it's great. Like it has a mobile, it does all these sounds. It's awesome. I ain't gonna front. But don't feel like you need to have these things because they are definitely not necessities. The last thing that I am gonna share with you guys is his bassinet. His bassinet is almost eight years old. Maya's turning eight, so it might be even nine years old. I got it um, when I was pregnant with Amaya from my best friends. And I loved it so much that I kept it and I used it for Eden. And I kept it again, even though I didn't think I was gonna have kids, I couldn't let go of it. And I'm glad that I didn't because it is so phenomenal. It allows him to be beside my bed. It is adjustable. It has a little shelf underneath that's awesome. It's where I keep his diapers, his wipes, his D drops, all basically half the stuff I showed you guys. And it makes noise. It has a flashlight and it vibrates, which he really, really loves I just discovered so his bassinet is phenomenal I'm gonna actually give you guys a little peep show of him in it because he's sleeping right now and then the video is done so here you go so this is his bassinet it comes with these three little ornaments that can dangle it has this cover here and this it actually flips up and it allows you to lift it I think this is like a three-in-one carrier I'm not sure but here it has the light, the music, and the vibrations that I said he likes. And this is the brand. He fits super well in there and he'll probably fit in there until he's almost five months. And then this actually lifts off, like I said, it has a change table cover underneath. And then it has the little shelf where we put everything. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Baby Essentials Mommy Monday. I will see you guys Wednesday for our vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe. Click that like button. I'll see you in my next video. Deuces.